everyone. Today I'm going to share with you step two on how to make this apple scrap vinegar. And I'm taking a look at it here now. It's been 10 days. And you can see the effervescence is very active. And the bubbles are all moving to the top, which is great. But I think I'm going to let this one stay for another few days and go ahead and filter off this one and I can smell it's like a sweet apple cider smell a little bit vinegary very nice so I'm gonna go ahead now and we're gonna filter these and then we'll just let them sit for a few weeks and form a nice mother and hopefully we'll have some great vinegar I have a glass container here to strain it off into and then it will go back in the jars so hopefully two of the jars will make one jar of liquid once it's strained unfortunately it was one of those mornings you're running around the house and looking for things and I can't find any cheesecloth and I don't have a ceramic coated um, strainer so I'm gonna have to use a metal one and I really don't like using metal so hopefully this won't ruin the vinegar but I would recommend you use cheesecloth or even plastic or ceramic lined strainer but I'm gonna go ahead and use the metal anyway so this is the first jar and hopefully when I have all the solids strained out I'll be able to put both jars of liquid back into the one jar I'm going to take my time here now and this is a bit heavy. Go ahead and strain this through. I just had to lift this out because this container wasn't quite big enough, so I had a little spill. I'm going to go ahead now and clean out the jar. I'm not going to sterilize it, just uh, give it a good rinse. Now we'll do the same thing for the second jar. Before I started the second jar, I'm just uh, here pressing the final bit of liquid out of the apple pulp. And then this pulp will go straight to the compost. And now it's time for jar number two. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. one jar, so I might have to sterilize a smaller jar. Okay, now hopefully this smaller jar is big enough to take the rest of it, I think so. So now all I have to do is go ahead and cover these up and let them sit for another, say, three weeks until they fully ferment and hopefully a nice mother will form. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the other batch with the apple chunks as well. For another three weeks and hopefully a nice mother will form in them and when I was straining the apple chunk vinegar I put back in some of the mother that was stuck to the apple pieces and as you can see this one's much paler although there's two different tones going on here than the one where I did the apple puree I actually think this one looks much nicer but it yielded a little less product so you know you have to decide which way you want to do it but we're gonna see how they ferment 
So in about three weeks, hopefully we'll see a nice mother forming inside these jars and then we'll be ready to bottle up our vinegar. So I'll have a link in the description box below to step one, which I did last week, and this is step two. And in a few weeks time, we'll do the final step and have our apple scrap vinegar. I'll see you in a few more weeks with another update on this apple scrap vinegar.